So here's what happened. One of you people who watch my videos contacted me and asked me to make a scene for him. Basically a preset for the entire console. And it had some complicated routing and mid-side stuff and we also used two of the effects buses for something else. Anyway, I made the scene, I sent it to him, he tried it, and he was sending channels to the effects bus, number 15, which had the reverb, but he wasn't hearing any reverb. So he asked me, why can't I hear any reverb? What's going on? So I looked back at the scene, and here's what I discovered. These are the effects buses, and these are the effects returns. Now you'd expect that if you're using the first effects bus, that it should come back on the first effects returns, right? And if you're using the second effects bus, it should come back on effects returns number two. And this is how the console is set up by default. And it seems that these are connected to these, but they are not. The effects returns are actually connected to the effects slot in the effects rack. And here's what I mean. If I have an effect in the first slot, even if I'm putting it on the third bus, which is bus number 15, so this effect is on this bus, but it will come back on the first effects returns, not the third one. And this is what wasn't so obvious to me. So the effects returns are not connected to the effects buses, they are connected to the slot of the effect. So if I'm using the fourth effect on the first bus, it will come back on the fourth return. Also keep in mind, effects returns are not buses. They are channels with a virtual input that you cannot change. It's the same input always. So what is that input for effects returns number one? It's the output of whatever effect is on slot number one on the effects page. For effects returns number two, it's the output of whatever effect is on slot number two in the effects page. So now it makes more sense right? You send channels to a bus, then that bus is going out to the input of the effect, whatever effect, then the output of that effect is going into the return. When it comes to buses, the position of the effect doesn't really matter, but when it comes to returns, the position of the effect does really matter. Now, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up to help it spread to more people. Thank you very much. And here's another video that YouTube thinks is best for you, click on it and I'll see you there.